Dude, what was that? Talk. Why are you being so rude? That's Why are you stupid. causing a problem in front of everybody? Are we still rolling? Actually, stop. Like, but this is kind of pissing me off. Like, why are you making this a problem? What the f*** is going on? I like to party. Jesus, honey, wax much? This is Unwaxed. Get in, Lizzie. We're going shopping. With Sophia and Sistine Stallone. Did we just become best friends? Yep. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a very spontaneous episode of the Unwaxed Podcast with your favorite sisters, Sophia and Sistine. And Scarlett. Uh, I Scarlett always says it like that. You always do that. And Scarlett. (laughs) Um, We actually— There is a third sister. Yes. Well, we had a cancellation, so we thought, let's call the backup in. (laughs) And she showed up. Yeah. I woke up at um, 10. Sistine calls me at 10.10. Um, rush over here as quick as possible, and now, now I'm here. We it was great. Well, we very much appreciate it, Scarlett. We do. Um, you kind of came in a little bit frazzled, though. I came very frazzled. There's two things on my mind. My hair is falling out because I dyed it all blonde, and the second one is that my wallet got stolen in New York. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. I want to back up break on it that. down. Let's break down the first one. Yeah. My wallet got stolen. Well, that wasn't the first one. Oh, my hair's falling out. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't so, know. But no, I don't know if I dyed it bleach. Scarlet, Scarlet. I don't know if it's me dyeing it bleach blonde or I'm stressed. I don't know. No, I'll tell you what it is. Um, Scarlet and I have a bad habit of cheating on our hairdresser. And I always think that I'm going to get a different result, but it's always worse than what my hairdresser can do. Yeah. So uh, I go in saying I want like a natural light brown. I come back with black hair and Scarlett goes in saying she wants blonde and now she has no hair. But it's different. It's Scarlett because <laughs> I have no hair. you guys are talking about cheating on your hairdresser, but breakage, like what we have, is just because I'm we're, not taking off my hat. No, I'm not, we're I'm not bonding over this. Hat. We're dyeing our hair too blonde. You're fine because you're going brunette. Well, when you're blonde, it's... Absolutely heinous. Hypothetically, too much. if you were to take off your hat right now, are we talking like Dr. Phil or are we talking just I'm like a little male pattern baldness? Let's just think, okay, so. Are you comparing your hair to what my hair looks like? Ooh, yes, tea. Sophia, because we both are blonde and. <laughs> and <laughs> so who has Scarlett? Scarlett? Who has worse hair right now, you or Sophia? Me. Yeah, probably Scarlett, actually. 100%. I thought, I thought mine I was I bought this hat yesterday because <laughs> I. <laughs> Yeah. I needed it. Okay. I mean, I needed you, can't, it. you can't buy store-bought I know, I think hair. I've been to every... I think for the past three times I've gotten my hair done, I literally have gone to three different people. And it's mm. not good because every time you get something you kind of didn't ask for because I don't know your hair at all. I know. Yeah. So let's break down part two. Your wallet got stolen. How the hell do you plan on getting home without an ID? Yeah, I know. Um, you have no credit card. No credit card. No, no cash. ID. No ID. No cash. No. In ID. New York City. So how no. is she supposed to go out? I don't know. How is she supposed to get food? More importantly, <laughs> Scarlet Rogue in the city. How does she? <laughs> What's your plan? Room service. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> one dollar slice of pizza. I got, some, I got some change. I'll take it out of my bag. Oh, Scar. Okay. She has yeah. some rogue. Wa- it, some it, ten no, points. It's been really stressful. I woke up frazzled because I couldn't find my wallet. Well, what happened? And then I, I don't know. So I went to the restaurant last night and I put my bag on the chair and then. I looked into my bag and my wallet is gone. Do you think you maybe left it in a couch? I feel like you put it left on the couch, Scar. Mm, what couch? The or a chair that you're sitting on. How do you know you didn't just drop it near the table? I called the restaurant. They're looking for it. This I, is. I haven't heard back. This is. I don't think someone stole you it. in a nutshell. <laughs> if yeah, if any experience could describe your life, you as know a whole, the amount of time. times you've left wallets, phones, I just don't understand. Purses. I feel like that I blame everything on me being a Gemini. That is okay. I'm sorry. That is not a get almost, out of jail free card. That's almost as bad as like jail. when you judge someone based on their zodiac sign. <laughs> <laughs> She's so like, I'm just a you Gemini. Guys, I have a problem. So I'm I have a, a question. Gemini. When you tell mom and you know she's going to freak out, are you going to say, mom, look, I can't help it. I'm a Gemini. Is that your excuse? I always tell mom that. Yeah, but she she's screams gonna, at me. She's going to scream at you. No, I don't want to do. I get nervous. I was like, sorry, I lost $100. I'm a Gemini. Mom she's, scares me. You can't do <laughs> that. You're on my flight. How do you plan on getting on a plane? Yeah, you can't get on a plane if you don't have your ID. Oh, my God. 
They're actually. <laughs> oh, so that, this is actually a problem. We're not just saying. You know it. what? I think you did this on purpose. You might have to go with dad. You've been wanting to like lo- live in New York, move to New York. I think you did this. So you could stay here longer. Can I? Do you think I can? Well, I don't think you have a choice. How now. do you pay for Woo! the hotel? Ooh. You might have to go with dad tonight. There's a card on file. That's it. There's a card on file. That's yeah, but you. Yeah, but you. I'm not. To- I'm not going with dad home. No, I'm not leaving. I love New York. I'm gonna move here. No, you're not. Because you've been eating Levain cookies every day? That's <laughs> like... Hey. You know, I didn't really like them. Oh. I, took I told you. I took one bite, and I was like, ugh, this sucks. Mid. Is it too... It's so mid. I told you. Was it Sorry, too sugary, Levain. or is it too plain? Is it Levain or Levon? I don't know. Is it Levon, Levain? Okay. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But either way, I didn't really like it. How has it been since uh, you're here with your not boyfriend boyfriend? Oh, not boyfriend boyfriend's great. Um, we had so much fun. And then we were both stressing about the wallet thing last night. But he really wanted to come on today. Like, he really wanted I to. I think the next time he will. When we plan this out accordingly. Well, we would love no. to talk to your not boyfriend boyfriend that slightly resembles dad. I would he love is, to pick his brain you know, about I that. I literally said to him, I go, you are a cop. I, I literally told him to his face, you are a copy and paste Well, that's what a lot yeah, of he is. girls do, by the way. Is they date their, date their dad. Yeah. It's normal. Creepily enough, when I was young, what you drinking? Hey, what are you drinking? Vitamin C. Oh, looks like this. I was going to uh, say the same thing. Anyways. I'm drinking anyway, tea. when, you're, you're when I was young, skin. I don't know if you guys remember this, but... I used to always tell mom that I was like, you're going to divorce dad because I'm going to marry him. I was so young that I didn't actually understand the dynamic that that's not normal. You used to tell mom oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah, this was really weird. You wanted to marry dad. I used to marry, marry dad, but I was so little and I, was, I thought it was a normal thing to do. That is so weird. That is so weird. I don't part. know why I just didn't have a normal um, school crush. Well, you guys went out to dinner last night without me. How was that? Did we? It, it was Oh, fun. yeah, we did. <laughs> Lemon cello <laughs> shots. Do? There wasn't limoncello. There was just like lemon. What is limoncello? Shots. I think they're called lemon it's drops. It's like an Italian drink. Yeah. So we basically took shots and had a lot of glasses of wine and a cannoli the size of Sistine's forearm. It was delicious. Oh. It was great. Um, anyway, Scarlett, you've been kind of solo in New York, which is I've been completely alone. So your vibe though. I love it. I think so you would much. for first call, you've always been the type that wants to be alone rather than around people. Yeah. And this city is probably the perfect place to do it. So what it's you, perfect. It's lonely. It's dark. It's. But I would like love just to stalk you. Like, what does a day in your life in New York look like? Walk me through it. Okay, so you're interviewing her like she's a guest. She is it's a guest. It's so funny the way you're sorry. Host. I should be treated I like sister. a guest. You're like, tell us about your day in the life of New York. Okay, I'm sorry. It is uh, kind of funny. Anyways, as the guest is talking, um, <laughs> ooh, yeah, ooh, um. I, I honestly, I don't think you understand. Like, I don't even know what I'm going to do that day. Mm. I don't wake up and go, okay, I'm going to have this, 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 this done. I wake up, I put on some pants, put on the same hoodie so. that I've been wearing for the past four days in a row, and walk. I walk, I walk, mm. I walk, I walk for literally three hours straight. So you let your feet guide you. I, I don't yes. know. I, I, I just find a bunch of... Like weird things to do. I end up like running into people and mm. talking to strangers and mm. you know, buying hats for my dead hair and you know it's just like doing like really random things. But those all don't sound very interesting to I be feel honest. Like you're, I talk to strangers and buy hats for my hair that's falling out. I feel like you. But, <laughs> I don't know. What she does? And I, I just, lose I, my wallet. Also, no, no, she's like I don't know. I I I like to explore. I don't. I haven't been here in five years yeah. and I just kind of you know get lost. I feel know? like you base it based on what you want to. try try that day, food-wise. You're like, okay, I'm going to walk no. to this croissant. Yeah. That's more you. You're like the foodie. She literally was telling me, I'm going to find the best egg bagel sandwich. I'm going to find the best croissant. I'm going to find the best cookie. I didn't cookie. find any Yeah, but there's like a deli but on that, that doesn't mean that's not what she does. Like, you have been doing that. You're like, I'm going to find the best one. And that means you're going to go explore. I mean, I haven't had any... Okay, well, that's what you were telling me. So I'm assuming that you're walking around the city. Maybe you'll stop and you find, like, a bagel shop. And you're like, oh, maybe I'm going to try this and this is going to be I mean, best. I, did, I did, like, walk was, around for a couple hours and then I... Realized it was like 3 p.m. and I was like, I need breakfast. So I, so I walked into a, um, I walked into a croissant store. hadn't It was kind of weird. It was like mm. a little sketchy. And I bought like four croissants and I ate by myself. You had a mukbang. A- Sophia and I really love to work, power through things, and we often put our stress on the back burner. Yeah, and I think also another thing that adds on to that is when we're traveling, especially right now. I mean, we're in New York City, and just this whole trip has been kind of 
building up a little bit of anxiety. I don't know For if you feel sure. the same way. With the work schedule, with yeah. managing our family lives, our friendship lives, our relationship lives, it can be a lot and it's very stressful. And Sophia and I have actually been using this product that has seriously actually changed been so much. our life. And we realized that you don't have to feel stressed all the time. And mm -hmm. using Prima has actually changed our entire life. But I don't even think people realize that 75 to 90% of doctor visits are from stress-related issues. See, that's Isn't insane. That it's insane because many of us are operating all the time on survival mode. We expect our skin, our bodies, mm -hmm. our minds to thrive when we're seriously running on empty. Yeah, so what's great about Prima, it's California, we're from California, it's a lead purpose-based CBD hemp product that just is the best way to relieve stress. And why I love them so much is they are dedicated to helping you rise above modern day stress. So every day is a little bit better with their doctor formulated, clinically validated, high performance products for the skin, body, and mind. So if you're not sure where to start, because I know that when it comes to these products, you're just a little bit overwhelmed. They have daily CBD capsules that you can just take on the go to relieve that stress. I love these gummies because, you know, it's fun just to take a little bit of and sweetness throughout the day. By the, the way, <laughs> delicious. It's so Chef's good. kiss. Or you can go at night and you use sleep tight because I know that she also has this problem. We don't sleep. I know we talked about her ODing on melatonin. This has been the best you, you alternative. Guys, I don't guys... have to overdose on melatonin anymore. Congratulations. Prima <laughs> has literally given me some of the best sleep of my life. So... Lucky for us, Prima is offering our listeners an exclusive, limited time, 20% offer with the code UNWAX. Trust us, because I feel like you guys are convinced at this point. So head to Prima.co and get that 20% off using the code UNWAX and get the relief you deserve by using the products today. Prima. <laughs> You know, I'm your okay. schedule, honestly, is kind of alarming. Kind like, of you can you sleep up? until noon if you wanted. Yeah. You eat breakfast at 3. You know, you put on the same pants every day, you said. it's. Uh, are you okay? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I don't know. I'm just, I think I'm just very lost right now. I'm like, what I want to do. I don't, for a career? Or do you mean just lost in the city? Um, Not for career at all. I mean, I'm 19 years old. I'm a college student. I just don't yeah. know what I'm doing in the future. Like, I have no idea if I want to live in L.A. next year. I don't know if I want to live in Miami next year. I don't know if I, you know, maybe live in New York next year. <laughs> but who knows? But I just, like, am very confused on where I want to go to college, what I want to do. Like, I don't— Does your boyfriend totally. have an opinion on the matter? No, he just said whatever. He goes, I just want you to be happy at the end Aww. of the day. He goes, no matter what you do, just— he goes, don't base your decision off of me. That is the last thing I want you to do. Very he goes, mature. if you're not happy, then you are not happy. And, you know, um, he goes, because the last thing, he goes, I would be really sad if, like, you stayed at the school mm -hmm. and you weren't happy, but you only stayed for me. Because mm -hmm. that was, like, kind of my mind process. I was like, I would stay for him. That's really mature I would, of him. But, yeah. yeah, he was really he understanding. But we talked about that last night, and... I, I just don't know what I'm doing. I By don't the know. way, Scarlett, I don't know what I'm doing tonight. Like, I don't know what I'm going to be in a year. And you know, if you're going to be a I guest on the show, you better know to turn your phone off. I did. I did. Do you see that? Actually, that's pretty wild. No, do you see but that? But Joe's been through. Said, was that it Joe? Literally says, well, then yeah, whoever's Joe. calling must be important. It was Joe. Put Joe on FaceTime right now. Get him on the phone. I want to talk to this chap. Okay. He was supposed to be on the show. I want to see what he's doing that's much better than this podcast. Yeah, give me the phone. Hello, Joe. You are on the Unwax podcast. We are live right now. And we are wondering. Oh, God. <laughs> Joe, we are wondering why you are on a train and not here. Uh, like, I told Scott I had a tea time. <laughs> he doesn't play golf. You a tea time don't play in golf. the rain. I don't know if I believe yeah, it. Yeah, that sounds a little hard to believe. I really wanted to make the podcast. It was short notice. That's, it was short notice. That's fair. That, that was fair. fair. That was short fair. notice, but sometimes causes for the best content, my friend. So next that's, time, that's I true. guess. That's true. That's true. Oh. Uh, All right, Joe. I'll call you later. Uh, Bye. <laughs> wow. So that's really nice of him that he gives you a sort of yeah. freedom to choose what you want. You I know? know. I wish he was here. Like, I literally wish he was here right now because he'd be like, he'd talk about it like But no you problem. spent last 
the last few days with him. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. I spent like one day with him. How did you meet? How did you meet Joe? I actually don't even have. I asked um, you that before. In an elevator. Um, we were in our dorms, and so I walked into an elevator. He walked into it, and um, we both hit I the asked first him. Floor. I said, "Why are you dressed like that?" Because he was dressed in like a full-on weird racquetball suit. Or yeah. Whatever. Why are you dressed? Like, why are you dressed like that? So that was like my first words. I'm like, "Oh, wait, why are what you, you wearing?" Like that? Yeah. And he goes, I'm "Playing racquetball," and I go. Nice. And he nice. Goes, can I get your number? And, that's what, and he's like, can I get your number? <laughs> yeah, and that's it. And that's so, what, like what happened. By the way, but, it's that easy. It's that what, easy. That's Wait, complicated. What's this no boyfriend boyfriend situation? Because there's no label, but he's acting like your boyfriend. Well, they just want to wait and see where she's going to end up next year. I don't, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, why would I get into a full on committed relationship right now if I'm literally going to dip? <laughs> I, I agree dip, with yeah. that. I don't know. I don't know if I should. What do you think? Should I stay in LA? Should I move to Miami? That's Maybe not for us to decide. Miami still. I think you need to spend a month there for summer in LA, and then figure it out. Because mm-hmm. first year of college is always stressful for everyone. It's so much transition, so much change. You almost spend the whole year just trying to get settled, and then to leave and start that over again is a lot of work. Yeah, and, yeah. and but Plus, it sucks because like I need to make a decision soon. When do you find I out? I need to pay yeah. for my next. No, but wait, when, when do you find, you find out? out? What? When do you find out? If you got into the LA school, um, I find out. I thought in, it was now. It's May nineteenth. Oh, I find out in literally two days. <gasps> Well, so wait, then that's, by the way, that's a whole part of it. I literally hope I don't get in so I can make the decision like a lot What easier. if I applied to school and then we went together and then I could follow you around all day? You and me <laughs> going to college together. Yeah. And what I are would, we studying? We are studying um, sexology. Mm. And... I'm not interested. Psychology. So she well. has some facts about kissing. She was writing down. She wanted to no, talk to you. No, you about- I had a good transition for that. Oh. Okay, we're gonna rewind. My transition was Scarlet. So you spent the last day with Joe. What is this? So Here we go. D- because you guys are dating, not dating. Oh, you no. and Joe, you know, kiss. Ew. D- but yes, am I wrong? Yeah, but like, why am I talking about this? Because I have facts about kissing that I thought might interest you. If you'd like to hear them. Yes. And you too, somebody. Sophia, with the boyfriend. And yeah, like, I know you're kissing. You're kissing hard. Oh, we're kissing a lot. Possibly with tongue. Of course with tongue. Ew. Ew. Are you French what kissing? Ew. I don't French kiss kissing? Yeah. I don't, don't kiss with tongue. I don't like shove my tongue. You don't tongue. kiss with tongue? No. It's gross. What do you just close mouth know, the whole time? Each, to each their own. To each their own. What are you? I kiss like, um, like a fish gasping for air. Okay, here are my facts about kissing. Did you know that kissing for one minute burns 23 calories? Did you know that you are exchanging 10 million to 1 billion bacteria when you make out with someone? That's disgusting. I know. Good chemistry when kissing could mean that you have healthy offspring. What? Mm -hmm. Means like your babies are healthy. If, you're, if, if you, the chemistry is good. Our kissing is. If the chemistry is good with the other person, then. The offspring will be good. The baby will be. That's just, who knows? Who knows? I was when deciding to kiss someone, women pay more attention to the person's breath and teeth than men do. Which I could probably agree with that. Mm. Ew. No? No. You don't pay attention to their breath. So if they have stank breath, you're like, mm, come here. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Obviously. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. On average, one person can spend 20,160 minutes kissing. Oh, that's not How enough. How much time do you spend on the toilet? What was that fact? It was like something amount oh. of years of your life, like 10, 15. I thought it was four years of your life you spent on the toilet. That makes sense. Probably more for me. Do you know we sleep with you? Wait, wait. Why? Wait. <laughs> I why? was kidding. No, you're not. Let's get into it. Oh, you want to talk about my, my bathroom breaks? Yeah, why do you spend so much time on the toilet? I was making a joke, but um, I don't girls know. Don't because poop. I, girls don't poop. That's why I was kidding. That's true. Whoever so, said we do is stupid. They're crazy. I don't know why they would make those assumptions about us. I know. What do you want to do with him this weekend? Because the weekend's coming up then. Without a wallet, what are you guys going to do? Um, oh, yeah. How are you going to get around with no cash? 
I know, you guys, I'm freaking out. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Well, you and know. I'm actually genuinely talking to you, and I'm not, like, even, like, no, thinking you, about the it, podcast right now. Like, I'm genuinely. I have a plan. Like, I'm genuinely. I, I woke like, I up, I started, you're... like, bawling my eyes out this morning. Aww. And then I have, then, like, literally not even 10 minutes later, you call me. Sorry. And, and you're, like. That's why I was so frazzled on the phone. You're like, oh, you, um, come to the studio right now. And I was literally so frazzled on the phone. I, that's why I was like, I don't know if I can come. Like, I don't know if I can do this. Like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you were like, not saying anything. I was like, hello? No, because I was freaking— I, I, I was in the lobby, literally going to every, like, place I went to in the hotel, <sighs> asking for people while you were calling me, too. I was just freaking out the whole You're time. You're stuck okay. in New York. I'm okay with that. I'm going to live here. Mark my Here's words, I'm living do. in the city. I have two options for you. One, I'd give you some cash. But you're going to have to work for it. What? Yeah. What are you talking Nothing's about? Nothing's free. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do for you? I got a few errands I need to run. Got a few people I need to pay off. If you could just be my messenger, my gopher. Mm. And I think we'll be straight. All two, right, cool. you could throw yourself in front of a cab. Oh. Get hit. Not hurt, just hit. Hit. Maybe get some money from that. No. Oh. Um, I almost got hit by a cop the other day. Oh, you've been getting hit. Yeah, let's hit talk about that. I wasn't going to bring it up unless Sistine, you were. Sistine was so mad at me. So um, I haven't been to New York in five years. Can I get so, my POV? Okay. I'm the one witnessing this. No, 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 no. Stop it. So me and Sistine are walking around. And um, Sistine wanted to bring me to this, like, little cute market. So we're walking, we're walking. And I'm, I'm like, wow, I love this city. I'm, like, looking around, doing my thing, getting excited. And I'm walking across the street and... You forgot a bunch of steps. I didn't forget a bunch of steps. I walked on the street. I wasn't looking in both directions. A cab almost okay. came and it was, like, 10 feet away from me. Not 10 feet. Let me explain what happened. We are walking to this market, correct? I have no idea what's going on. The crosswalk is not green. We cannot go. There's about 10 people behind us on one side of the street, 10 people on the other. No one's crossing. And I get in New York, everyone's jaywalking. And when you live there, you sort of know when is an appropriate time to cross if there are no cars coming. Scarlett's not from there. Mm -mm. So all of these people that you could tell are from New York— no, it's not a good time to cross. But Scarlett goes, nah, today, this is the good time to cross. I'm going to go for it. She runs out into oncoming traffic. A cab is going a little too fast for my liking. And it wasn't 10 feet. It was easily five feet from you, maybe closer. Yeah. They lay on the horn. Shut there were up. people on both sides gasping at what they just saw. Scar. And I was pissed. And Scarlett, you know, it's to be right after. She goes, Sistine, I'm sorry. Can we just move on and have fun today? I don't want to. <laughs> I was like, I almost just witnessed my sister die on the first day that we're here. Don't be so mad. Put a smile on your face, baby girl. God forbid if you were hit. How was I going to explain that to mom and dad on my watch? Uh, I'm not four. What am I going to say? She's a Gemini. She just went for it. Okay, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a dog sustain. Like if I'm. I'm 19. Like if I get hit by a car, that's all me. But you know what? That's a good idea. Actually, I should put you on one of those leashes so you can't run into. There's no way you can live here on your own if you're already getting hit by traffic. Hey, I'm just getting adjusted to the city. But uh, Scarlett's been here for four days. Um, Almost dies. (laughs) Almost dies. Loses her wallet. And the city is not for you, babe. Wallet, the city is not for you. I'm gonna come after you. The city is my. It's, no, it's for me. And our hair is falling out. I don't know if this is. For this you. is not the city for you, Scarlett. Maybe it's. Then what is Miami? And she still uh, maybe, hasn't yeah. found. No. And she still hasn't found a good bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. So the city is not for you. The city's not. And I don't like Levant. This sucks. Levant, and Levant. <laughs> I know. Uh, oh well, but at least it's better than Oklahoma when you were there. Uh, oh yeah, let's talk about that. How's your experience been on set and working oh. with Dad? Oh, my God. It's been unreal. This is kind of like a dream come true for me. I mean, I've wanted to act my whole entire life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I I saw... I've always, like, pictured Dad and I being on screen together. But never in my life I think it would ever happen. But I kind of, like, manifested it a little Mm -hmm. bit. Ever since I was, like, 14, I wrote in, like, the back of my book, like, I'm going to star in a movie with Dad. (laughs) Even though it's not starring in a movie, but it's, it's like, one-liners together. But it's, it's a dream come true. I'm, I'm acting with my dad. And, like, that's, that's something I've literally have dreamt about since I was, like, a little girl. So, um, yeah. But it's also really funny to work with him because he likes to kind of, mess with me a little bit on set. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, while filming. Yeah. Like, we, um, 
like during the scene, he would say, you know, random. He would throw in a little like curveballs here and there. Just to He's ad libbing. Yeah, yeah, but like he can't do that because no one's going to correct him. They're going to correct the me. They're not yeah. going to correct him. The script supervisor would be like, Scarlett, you're yeah, wrong. Sc- yeah. yeah, so the guy Sly, comes up right. to me. So Dad comes up to me, and he and he's saying his lines, and then he says something so random. So I respond with, like, to kind of coordinate with the line that he just said mm-hmm. that's not on the script. Mm-hmm. But if I kept going with my lines, then it would make no sense. Like, mm. it, the scene wouldn't make sense. Yeah. So the guy kept coming up to me like, Scarlett, you're saying this wrong. Scarlett, you're saying this wrong. I go, I'm not. The man just doesn't know his lines. Can we Can we um, recreate one line of your dialogue with this coffee mug? Because Scarlett plays a barista. Now give us your line. In character. Picture her with a nose your ring, name? with cracked nails, and do you have a tattoo? I do have three tattoos. That's her. What's, that's what's her your honor. name? Spencer. Spencer. All oh, right, Spencer. See that deliver your you. line. She is a barista and scene. Dwight, double cappuccino. <laughs> Come on, say it without laughing. That was Come horrible. On. You're not getting the part again. Do it. Come on. <laughs> that's it. It's just Dwight, <laughs> double cappuccino. But say it like that's you're it? Spencer. Oh, double shot espresso. Oh. Oh, so the the line was wrong. I mean, it's double really... cappuccino. I never. Even... Oh. <laughs> Spencer, you're fired from being a barista. I'll tell you that. Double okay, cappuccino. To be fair, I said these lines a while ago. I don't. Been... You have lines coming up soon. Yeah, I have to go back. To... What's your line that you have to say? Tulsa. Um, have you studied your lines? I yeah, I know my lines. What's your new line? Am I allowed to say it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> say it. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Spencer. <laughs> Okay, should I do my Western accent? No, it's so bad. That's old pilot. Double cappuccino. <laughs> Why do you keep saying double cappuccino? That's not a thing. Unless that's I've a thing, I don't know. I've never heard of that. It's double espresso. By the way, it's espresso. You guys keep saying with an X. Oh, okay. No, it's espresso. It's espresso. Do I double espresso? You keep saying espresso. There's no X in it. It's espresso. Espresso. Don't eat the cup. <laughs> Scarlett and I were running lines for like... 20 minutes before she did her first scene. And she kept saying espresso. And every time I was like, espresso, espresso. And she kept, it's like your brain doesn't actually absorb what I say. I can't, I have a speech delay. No. Okay, I have a question. What would be your dream acting job? Like, would it be a su- I, I always wanted to do like Lara Croft. Like I was the next Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, or something really cool and action like. What would yours be? Like, a, like being in like, Marvel or something, anything. Ooh, yeah. like, if I was a superhero or something like that. that oh, I would want to be Hunger Games. No, I want to be Catwoman. That's a sick costume. I mean, come on. Yeah. Catwoman. But I can't touch Spider my toes. Spider Woman. Spider Woman. Yeah. Spider. Is there a Spider Woman? Is that because you just want to work with Tom Holland? No. Oh. She's I would like, say yes. I want to be a Spider Woman. I mean, I, like, no one's. Is, Spider Woman's not okay. a thing, right? <laughs> no, no. no. Scarlett's like, my dream role is being Scarlett, a cappuccino maker. I don't think. <laughs> Two espressos. Dwight. Double espresso. Scarlett, I don't think. <laughs> Scarlett, I don't think, I don't think Spider Woman is a thing, and I don't think a double I shot of cappuccino. Can we stop making Spider Woman? <laughs> she, like, exp- she goes, <laughs> she goes, burrito on day. Spider Woman on night. Espresso. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who would be your Tom Holland that you'd want to work beside? Your dream co-star. Yeah. Mm. You could pro- probably kiss him in the movie. You know, it's your movie. You can do what you want. Mm. Oh, wait. No. Scarlett's like, I skate art during the day. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't know. Kobe Murphy? You can't take mine. I'm sorry. What have you ever liked? I'm sorry, you I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Does he know you? Does How he do know you? Guys, you? Has, but Scrub, he, he was yeah. my screensaver. Uh, He's that, mine. Is that claim? Yeah. When you were 15. Like, no, I was... Uh, you can't claim... I was 20. You can't claim celebrity men that you have never met. Yeah, but you're, met you look like Louis Partridge or like... Scrub, who's another guy? Like? Who's another person? Um, I'm, I'm curious because I, I want to see if it's the wait, same. I, think, I know. They're all the same. Watch her say Jason Momoa. Tom Holland. No. No. Tom Hardy. Don't say Tom Hardy. That's mine. Oh my God, the, the chokehold we have on these men thinking that they know this. <laughs> Venom. 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 Best movie ever. Everyone's Wait, can like, I go no. into my um, TikTok likes? I'm like, sorry. I have a bunch of... 
Your TikTok likes. Watch them be like baseball boys that have maybe no, no, not my likes. Like I like them. Like I like. They're all just golfers. Oh, they're all golfers. But they're like those cute Scarlett's look is like a frat boy. Shive Shack or whatever. Yeah, they can like golf. Like Robert Pattinson. Really? Really? Yeah. Interesting. I have a bunch of likes from him recently. I don't know about that I can one. see her playing Catwoman with Robert Pattinson. No, or no, just like exactly. random guys on TikTok. I can see him <laughs> serving. Do you have a TikTok too. crush? Who's the cutest boy on TikTok? Mm. That golfer. So just a stranger that no one knows? Yeah, no. He's I like, thought you guys no. like like Josh Richards or something. Oh, oh my God, he's so cute. I can't. I'm not saying yeah. anything. I can't. They're he's too young. young. Yeah, he's this twenty. Well, he's twenty. <laughs> Listen, when I was at Stagecoach, was I on a mission? Yeah, but I never saw him. Sit Josh, up. if you're interested, it's a Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, <laughs> it was a low moment that was happening. A low, yeah. low moment. I was now. going through it. I was going through it. And, uh, and I was supporting it, unfortunately. I should have yeah. stopped it before it was getting too dangerous. But we never, we never saw him, so nothing happened. Scarlett, I'm really concerned for you, to be quite honest. Why? Yeah, if you can't get out of New York, mom's going to kill you. You're missing. You guys stop. Okay. <laughs> like, don't. I really don't know what you're going to do. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. But you can work for me. I will allow that. You guys, I don't know what to do. Uh, well... Maybe. Why aren't you talking? I, I'm trying to think of something to say. Like, seriously. Dude, what was that? Talk. Why are you being so rude? Sophia, seriously, you're actually like being so annoying. Are you joking? You made me knock over a mug. Are you seriously going to blame me now for you knocking over a mug? Okay, Sophia, that's really stupid. I get you had like... No sleep last night, but so did everyone else. And why are you stupid. causing a problem in front of everybody? Are we still rolling? <gasps> See, this like, is the, the part amount? of the podcast that people want no, to stop. No, no, stop. No, actually, stop. Like, but this is kind of pissing me off. Like, why are you making this a problem? Because I'm getting my blood boiling right now. I'm sorry that you guys are all here for this. This is like kind of embarrassing. Um, you know what, Sophia? If you have problems in your own life with your own relationship, I actually like. You've been projecting on me since the moment I walked in this. Can you stop laughing? <laughs> Come on, Sophia. I'm kidding. God. I got, you, I got so nervous. Sophia. This is why you're not the actor of the family. Jesus. I got so nervous. By the way, you didn't catch on until like 30 <laughs> seconds. No, 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 I did. I did. No, right when you were like, why are you not talking? And then at first I was like, I'm trying to think of something. No, and, you then, were, and no. then you got mad again. I was like, oh, wait, this is the point for us to do it. <laughs> I feel fucking I first, oh, oh, first. Oh, oh, oh my God. First of all, I actually pissed. I was like, We were bitch. making a, a TikTok. <laughs> oh, you just oh. got punked. That was, no, that was just like. Did you get it? No. I, you just got punked again. Wait, hold on. You, you just got, got punked. And I ruined it. And Sophia broke character, so it really didn't work. Did you get her face? <laughs> I was just like, what the hell is happening? Yeah, like, I, I knew this was so oh, okay, bad. Good, Sophia good. was like, Sophia? what? <laughs> no, like, I, the first time I was like, Sophia, like, why aren't you saying anything? You were like, dude, what's your problem? I'm like, <laughs> so, because I forgot that was still happening. Oh, my God. All right, Scott. Well, our next, our next guest is it's coming, like coming in, soon. So, we want to thank you for being a last call invite to this thing. I really will help you with Please, yeah. all of your... Um, Wait. What? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, we'll see you next. <laughs> they didn't find it yet. Oh, okay. okay. They didn't find no it. No wallets there. Scarlet's <laughs> If anyone wants to like, give Scarlet money. Wait, you know what, Scarlet? This Scarlet. is what we're going to do. We're going to put Scarlet in Times Square and dress her up as Spider Woman. And you can just pay her. Yeah. We'll, we'll put a box. Where's the coffee bag? Double cappuccino. Espresso. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put your character as Spider-Woman who can't pronounce espresso. Espresso! <laughs> so guys, please, any cash that you have, any spare change yeah. to let this girl survive New York City for now, at least a couple more hours will be nice. Just we, She's our little sister. Someone needs to help her. Where's a sticker in the middle of Times Square next to the and Cowboy? We'll see you next Tuesday. Adios. Goodbye. Cut the cameras. Yeah.